Can you diagnose this patient? She's a 65 year old woman with a history of hypertension. She's been feeling nauseous and she's been vomiting for the past three days. Her current medications include hydrochlorothiazide and on physical exam, she appears dry and her mucous membranes are tacky. So what's the first thing that we're gonna do? All right, so we have the three days of nausea, vomiting and decreased oral intake. That's a high risk for volume depletion. Her mucous membranes are tacky and appearing dry. That's dehydration or hypovolemia. This blood pressure of, it says 100 over 60 and a heart rate of 110, that's orthostatic hypo tension and reflux tachycardia, which also indicates a hypovolemic state. And so hydrochlorothiazide is a thiazide diuretic and that causes hypokalemia, hyponatremia, and also worsens the volume loss. Okay, cool. So these signs and symptoms are consistent with thiazide-induced hypovolemia and electrolyte imbalance. This is worsened by her vomiting and her poor oral intake. So here are the most important notes that you need to know, but basically thiazide promotes sodium and potassium loss. And this is dangerous with vomiting or dehydration. So normal saline corrects the volume depletion. And if you switch to fluoride, then it's going to be a little bit safer for her in the future for volume control and heart failure and hypertension without causing that hyponatremia. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to administer 0.9 percent saline and switch hydrochlorothiazide to furizamide. There's our explanation. You wouldn't give acetazolamide. That's our carbonic and hydrase inhibitor. That would cause bicarbonate diuresis and worsens metabolic alkalosis. You don't want to give that. Here are some of the differential diagnoses that you should think about. Here's the explain it to me simply. Basically, you know she's dehydrated, so watch out with thiazides. So we're going to switch it. So here's what Board Buddy has to say. Again, going to release this app when we get 2,000 subscribers. Thiazide diuretics can cause hypokalemia and metabolic alkalosis in patients with volume depletion like this patient. If you found this helpful, then like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.